Thanks for staying with us. Well, a local woman isn't allowing anything to get in the way of her living her life, something we can all relate to during this pandemic. Our News 11's Aziza Schuler shares this very inspiring story tonight. Take your liner. Quarantine isn't stopping Megan Eli from getting out of bed every morning. My goal was just like to get up and move around. Um, I have used my knee scooter ever since my surgery. I never wanted to be in a wheelchair. A year ago, Eli was plagued by a series of foot and bone infections stemming from diabetes. In 2019, she had 12 surgeries, and as she jokingly says, she'd rather be a pirate with a peg leg than to continue going under the knife. I was ready to get my life back, so on February 6th, um, I had my amputation. Doctors initially estimated Eli wouldn't be up on a prosthetic until eight months post-op. But this single mom's goal was to be walking before her daughters returned home from their dad in Texas in 90 days. My girls are my life and it's so important that they see me do things because they're they're looking at me. They're watching me. I'm their role model. Well, she hit her goal in 82 days. You can be sad about things in life or you can turn them into a positive. This journey has taught her to adapt and overcome, a lesson wow. she hopes we all learn from this COVID-19 pandemic. Sometimes in life, we have to pause and reflect on what's going on in our life, but then you gotta soldier on. Just because there are bad things going on in the world or just because there are things that may be scary, that doesn't mean that you need to stop your life. Megan will be getting her final prosthetic leg on Wednesday and says she can't wait to return to working as a security guard. Reporting from home, I'm Aziza Schuler.